that. Uh, so first of all, what do you make of uh, Jed Spence? Because apparently nobody else was in for him whatsoever, not even Forrest. No, I think uh, there's quotes that Chris Wilder have come out. I think they're a bit harsh. You know, I think he's played, he played 63 league games for, for Middlesbrough. They then sent him on loan. It was Neil Warnock who sent him on loan. The only question mark I have over there, because I think it's an outstanding signing for what it is, 12.5 million, if he does well, goes to 20 million. If he doesn't, it's a gamble that pays off. It's only 12.5 million for a Premier League football club like Spurs. That's fine. Um, and you'll get something back. It might not be 12 million. If it's a flop, yeah. you'll probably get 8, 10 yeah, you million. You won't lose a lot. Yeah. A- absolutely not. But the only question mark I have, I worked under Neil Warnock, one of my all-time favourite managers, He's dealt with a lot of characters. He's dealt with a lot of bad eggs. For him to say what he said and let him go, is it is his attitude that bad that Neil Warnock couldn't handle him? Whether it was a footballing decision as well, just to, to, to part ways, he obviously said he could either be a Champions League player or a, league, yeah, a, a, a non-league Bromley player. Bromley or Premier League, yeah. So that's the only question mark. But I think if there's any manager that can handle him, is Antonio Conte and I also think sometimes the penny drops on a player and it seemed to have last season at Nottingham Forest until he tweeted back to Neil Warnock on I just found it a little bit petty but um, I think it's an outstanding signing I think he'll do very well I hope he does well right back slot for, for Spurs I think is somewhere right wing back that, that Spurs needed and I'm hoping he is the man and if he becomes the man that we think he will the player we think he will 20 million, which is what they'd have to pay, is a snip in today's market. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. And like I said, hopefully the pennies drop for him and he thinks Champions League football, Tottenham mm. Hotspurs, I'm going to make this work. That's the key, isn't it? it? I mean, this could be the moment in his life, never mind his career, mm. where he thinks, OK, now it's time to get really serious. And we don't know what has gone on to make Neil Warnock think he's either Bromley or Premier League. But what we know is he is now Premier League and he's got that opportunity. Now... I don't think Neil Warnock's been proved wrong, which is why I didn't like the tweet that Jed Spence yeah. sent out. He should have sent out a tweet thanking Neil yeah. Warnock because Neil Warnock's put his own reputation on the line because he knows that if Jed Spence goes on to do what he's done, which is win promotion and yep. turn up at Spurs, a Champions League club, he's got that move. Neil, there's potential that people will ridicule Neil Warnock for letting him go in of inverted course. commas. But Neil Warnock had a decision to make on a player who he thought was going to go one way or the other at that time. And he did what he felt was best for that player. Yeah. So it's actually Neil Warnock looking after a footballer, you know, a young man trying to look after his career. Jed Spence owes Neil Warnock a thank you. So that tweet didn't go down well, no. I don't think. And maybe, in hindsight, he, he might regret it. If he tweets something like that, in a couple of years' time, about Antonio Conte. I know. Does anybody think he's going to be respected in, in football whatsoever? Mm. So I, I think it's a massive opportunity for him. Chris Wilder doesn't seem too bothered. No. Either does he. The quotes he's come out with, we've got a great deal to get the money we've got for a player who's hardly played for the first team here. Uh, he's gone. I don't have to speak about it again. We move on. So, I mean, there's no regrets whatsoever. There's not even a goodwill. There's not even good wishes no. to him and all that no. stuff. I, I, it's extraordinary. The puzzling thing for me is why Spurs were the only ones. And and good luck to him at Spurs. And, and I'm glad, you know, Spurs have given a, a player from the EFL a chance to to go in and do something at a big club in, in a big competition uh, in the Premier League and the Champions League. Uh, so good luck to him. I wouldn't want him to fail at all. But there's some questions that are raised by him yep. only being wanted by Spurs. So we'll, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating and that is what he does next season at Spurs. Yeah, the, do you think he'll be a starter though? Um, I think he's on his way to being a starter. Whether he will, it depends how he goes in and how he shines in a few games, maybe in preseason. If they can get this over the line ASAP, see how he can train. Antonio Conte will will know straight away if he's he's, he's a starter. I think Lucas Moura is playing right wing back today, so that that's exciting as well. I think he he turned Victor Moses into a fantastic right wing back. He can do it for someone like Lucas Moura. Jed Spence coming in. There's obviously question marks over his attitude and I think if 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 I'm Jed Spence, I'm thinking I need to go now and prove people that I'm not a bad egg. You know, you've got two experienced old head managers in Neil Warnock, Chris Wilder, um and, and maybe not in for Steve Cooper as well who who uh, by all accounts hasn't come in for to sign him after such a fantastic season. So that's three managers that potentially are not having you. He's got to go now and prove that he's not a bad egg, get his head down, play football. And if he gets into Tottenham starting team in the Champions League, he's going to have proved everyone wrong. 